Hello? Hello? We on? Hello? What up world? Julian here and welcome back to another episode of Told by Thomas where I tell you how I live my bachelor life here in New York City, Brooklyn, New York to be exact. And on today's episode, if you haven't been able to tell already, we are getting back to DIYing my bachelor pad. That's right, over the past couple videos, you guys saw me switch things up a bit and step outside of my apartment and into the dirty streets of Bushwick where I built me a custom bike to take on these city streets. Of course, me being the guy that I am, I wound up breaking my hand soon after. So I was feeling really down in the dumps about that. So to help me feel better, I wound up getting me a puppy. Skunk has grown into a healthy, happy pit bull puppy. As you can see, she got thick on him. I'm talking thick with two C's. I mean, you know I like my girls BBW, but damn my, slow down. All jokes aside, Skunk is growing really, really fast and my bachelor pad is just that a bachelor pad, as in a singular, is not meant to hold a bachelor plus a soon to be 70 pound pit bull. So over the next several videos, you guys are gonna see me switch up the space a bit to make it more accommodating, not just for me, but for my soon to be grown ass dog. So on today's episode, we are gonna kick things off by installing a sliding barn door. So let's get to it. All right, so to kick things off, we need to clear everything out of what will soon to be my new cozy corner. And by everything, I mean everything. After I cleaned up the space, I gathered all the supplies that I would need to sponge paint a really dope accent wall before installing the sliding barn door. This is going to add some much needed depth to the space by drawing the eye up and will really help the door stand out as an architectural feature in the space. And of course I use protection. If you think you're being too careful, trust me, you're not. Wrap it up tight kids. Don't be bringing no babies to my channel. After some good sweet foreplay, it was time for the main event. For this accent wall, I wanted the colors to complement the gradient staircase you all saw me paint a while back. So I started by painting the entire wall in a light gray for the base that worked well with both the lighter and darker shades of green in the staircase. Once the wall was dry to the touch, it was time to get my hands big dirty by dipping the sponge in our first color. When it comes to sponge painting, you can get very creative with the color combos. I opted to stick with the feature colors in the staircase, not because it made for a really cool effect, but because I'm cheap as fuck and I had mad leftover paint from that staircase DIY that I didn't want to throw out. Who are you to judge me? But for those that are brave enough to do this at home, definitely get creative, study your color wheel, and feel free to experiment. It's just paint. If you mess up, you can start over again. Kind of like life. I like that cereal. With that said, whatever color combo you do choose, I recommend to start sponging with the darker colors first. And if you can, try to apply using the same surface area and pressure with the sponge, just to keep the pattern somewhat consistent and not too messy, child. All right, you guys, we are done with part one, and that was the accent wall. I am not mad at the way it turned out. I thought it looked, you know, pretty good. Of course, I have Twitter fingers, so there are a couple little, you know, nicks here and there, but that's why I love paint, because if you make a mistake, you can just touch it up a little later. So I'm gonna take um, a brush and just touch up the edges. Yeah, you know, I actually only went for three colors rather than four. I thought four would have been a little bit too much, especially because the last layer is a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. 
on to the next step and that is installing this barn door. I've never done something like this before, so this will be something new maybe for all of us. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so despite me being from Brooklyn and wearing Carhartt overalls, I am not a handyman. Don't let the ensemble fool you. It's all for play play. With that being said, Home Depot has a decent selection of pre-made sliding barn doors. This is the basic door model from Masonite, which retails for about $350. I found that this was kind of affordable after comparing it to other doors when I was doing my research. Really quick, I wanted to mention this small business out in Ohio or Utah, one of them places, I don't know, uh, but it's called Rustica Hardware and they specialize in sliding barn doors made out of wood, class metal really unique handcrafted doors um they're a little pricey the door that i wanted was a thousand dollars and i'm a single dad trying to raise a puppy in the big city so that wasn't in my budget for this video but if you're trying to do a similar project and you have a little bit of dollars to work with i highly recommend you check them out i am going to include a link to their website in the description below so yeah i just wanted to really quickly mention that because you know i'm all about the small business so yeah um Back to the video. As for the process, I recommend installing any barn door with a friend that can help you lit. After a few missteps, I realized I was making it harder than it was. Essentially, all you do is attach the wheels to the top of the door. You then attach a wood board above the doorway, making sure it's level and taking into account exact measurements to ensure the door would slide over the doorway when installed. After which, you attach a metal track on top of that wood board, which the door would use to slide back and forth. Once the board and track is securely fastened to the wall, you simply hang the door, ensuring the wheels are properly aligned with the metal track. All the materials you need are included in the Masonite kit. There are a few safety mechanisms included in this sliding barn door kit, so I was sure to test its function and secureness again and again. I don't have rental insurance, so if the door falls on anyone, that's my ass. I hate leaving projects unfinished, so before I called it a night, I gave my new door a fresh coat of white paint to make it so fresh and so clean. You feel me? One week later. Uh-uh, she went to the dog park with who? She played ball with who? Uh-uh, you lying. You lying, girl. Why you always lying? Oh, oh, what up, world? Welcome back. As you can see, it's been about a week since I installed that sliding barn door. Uh, let me tell you, it was not easy. Have you guys ever done a project where you, you know you were so pumped to start and then you actually do it and you realize how hard it is so you need a break to fall back in love? Well, that was that. And I have fallen back in love with it. So to end this video, I'm gonna give you one final look of the end result and then show you what I did with my desk. So let's get to it. Okay, so before everyone starts swimming into my DMs asking what I did with my desk area, well, I decided to create a little home office. That's right, if you guys remember all the way back to my very first YouTube video, I mentioned how I wanted to turn this upstairs loft area into like my zen zone where I could come up and stretch out and you know, meditate. This room serves multiple purposes. I want it to be a crash pad for when my friends get too drunk and they need to spend the night. 
Uh, I want it to be a YouTube studio, so I need to figure out how to move everything around to accommodate that, but still make it livable. Um, I want it to be just a basic ass living room. I'm about to put a TV up here. Um, also, this is like where I come to like meditate and stretch, so it needs to have like a zip. I am not mad at this at all. I feel like my space is finally turning into a legitimate live slash work area like i can have people over here and talk business and not feel awkward or uncomfortable or uncomfortable about it i mean this is like a legitimate workspace yes there's still you know a lot of things i need to handle and take care of over here in terms of mess but it will happen and it will get done <sighs> All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, before I let you guys go, let's do a really quick recap. So today we painted a really dope accent wall using a sponge technique. That technique is quite dated. So before you take the plunge and do something like that, definitely think twice and get other people's opinion. I think it works for me because the space is quite tall and I get a lot of natural sunlight. And plus with the black industrial accent, I think it's gonna add a really nice masculine vibe to this space, which is what we want in a bachelor pad. After we did that, we installed the Masonite sliding barn door, which is about $350 from Ikea, but it does include the hardware, so I find it to be a pretty good value. It's definitely something you want to install with a buddy because if not, it will be very, very difficult. Trust me. After we did that, we moved my desk area upstairs to my loft where I now have a really nice functioning guest bedroom slash home office. So, holla at your boy. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at toldbythomas. As always, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Last but not least, be nice to each other. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in next week's video. Peace.